Hello everyone, this is Boricua Binks and welcome back to Let's Play Valhalla. Uh, in the last episode we were speaking to a private eye that honestly I, I'm kind of surprised he has that job because he was very awkward and <laughs> he didn't seem to know how the world works, you know? He's like, oh I have 80 books, can you tell me this information? And she's like, I don't know. And he's like, no, you're totally lying. You totally know, right? I have to just give you the money. And she's like, ugh. He was really annoying. But, um, yeah, I have a feeling he'll be back. <laughs> Whatever. Looking for Crimson Rose, apparently. Um, I have my concerns about all of that, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. And we keep hearing, like, what sounds like the ear are either, like, gunshots or a car backfiring but it's happening too often for it to be a car backfiring so i think something big is definitely going on at that bank or whatever um but now we have this new girl who has appeared and apparently she's calling herself streaming chan and she's streaming right now so here we go <laughs> I, I i walked around i, t I drank some water um I did some more work because I because I started to work already and um, yeah now I don't have any more work to do so I have to get back into this but it's like I have to make sure I'm peppy enough for this character <laughs> marry me streaming Chan <laughs> moo moon oh okay I'm streaming Chan giving you a live video feed of my life and adventures 24-7 Bathroom time and naughty moments only available to premium users. Oh my god. That's why that person asks, is it bath time and how do I become premium? Oh, that's horrible. Why? I'm so glad so far we haven't devolved to that. <laughs> but I think that's going to happen eventually because uh, already there's a lot of people when they stream that it's already borderline like inappropriate, you know? Ugh. Okay, anyway. <laughs> Let's do this. It's only $99.99 a month. Go premium now! Um. It's Friday night and you all know what that means. It's time for Streaming Chan's Escapades. Oh, it's so annoying to see all that in the background. Like, I would love to not have to see it all, but <laughs> oh well. Today's escapade is brought to you by ShiningFinger.moe Leaders of VR adult entertainment since 2069 Buy a year of premium membership and you'll get a code Exchange the code for a free trial of a VR experience modeled after yours truly Oh my god Anyone going to Kira Mickey? Excuse? Today, I picked the shoddiest, nastiest, smelliest, ugliest bar I could find downtown. Wow. That's not good to hear. And sadly, it actually looks half decent inside. So much for going to a crap hole bar that smells like dog urine. Then she makes the stupid mouth. <laughs> He's like, <laughs> Excuse me. But no matter, tonight I'll give you an escapade you'll never forget. Hey you, where's the bartender? You're talking to her, rude little brat. Very funny, where is he, really? Isn't Gil standing right next to her? <laughs> Why isn't she assuming it's him? Right in front of you. Hey, you, the pretty boy over there. Where's the bartender? You're looking at him. N no way! No hot, shirtless guy playing with fire and serving drinks while flirting with you? No sexy, scantily clad girl jiggling around the place? Streaming Chan swings both ways. <laughs> You're telling me you two? Dressed like fucking waiters, are the bartenders here? Ooh, 
she snapped. Yep. Seems that way. Is that a problem? Then you can get the F out, you stupid brat. Of course it's a problem! Friday nights are peak viewing hours! I need something sexy or enticing to keep them interested! Oh well, there's an easy solution to that. There is? Yeah, just take your top off. Oh my god, girl, please. Oh, I just noticed she has one green eye and one blue eye. Huh. You might need to take off your bra, too, depending on how the traffic goes. Wait, you're quite flat. Do you even use a bra? Wow! Ho oh, ho! This little girl's asking for it. Come on, Jill. Drug or drink! <laughs> uh, she's not worth it, but uh, after, after hours, you track this witch down and beat her ass. Although, you would get caught on camera and you get arrested right away, so never mind. Dang it, she is the ultimate form of protection. <laughs> is that piercing glare a no? Come on, one of us is gonna have to take off their top, and it ain't gonna be me. I already did that once today. Ugh, and it's too late to go somewhere else. By the time I find an even nastier bar, they'll be closed. What's your policy on wearing pants? Somebody tried to have me fired for wearing a skirt, so we deal with that on a case-by-case -case basis. That's not a concrete answer. I need binary yes-no answers. My viewers have the attention span of fruit flies. Yeah, this is why <sighs> streaming is so toxic sometimes, man. If they wanted to use their brains, do you think they'd watch something like this? I need to keep them entertained. And the fact that you still have your shirt on isn't helping. Wait, I know. Give me a drink. A big one. The nastiest one you can think of. Um, hello? Service here, please. Wow, it's like my brain shut down. Sure. Nasty drink, nasty drink. Manly and promo drinks are both nasty, but that's my opinion. Okay, let's go promo, because they're always nasty. Oh my god, even in this screen, there is no escaping this garbage. <laughs> Ugh. Okay, let's go with one we haven't done before. Okay, let's just just let's just do the piano, man. Um, it's hard to say because there's a few that have really bad descriptions. Like, but what this one has, it's sour is a bad flavor, promo, and then strong. So, hopefully, I don't know. It was gonna be that or maybe Grizzly Temple. I was thinking, but we already served that earlier, so. Wait, did she say big? Did she say big? I don't remember. No, no, I don't think she said big. Okay, let's just do this. Here. Alright then, cheers! I don't think you should chug it down so... quickly. It's like it hit me, but I didn't feel it until a few seconds later. I think I'm going to die. Good. <laughs> Is this what it what being kicked in the balls feels like? Yep. Okay, I've decided. I'll just get really wasted. Cause that's totally entertaining. <laughs> that's gonna be fun enough, right? If you say so. 
Okay, in the meantime, what can you tell me about this bar? Anime was a mistake? <gasps> How dare you! <laughs> what do you mean? Weird stories, fun stuff, interesting facts. You're being seen by an average of 6,000 people. Make their time worth it. Let's see then. Last weekend, we held a party for the Safar Toy Company. And? It's a company run completely by dogs. Really? This place was completely overrun by corgis. Wait, wait, wait. Corgis? Did you really serve drinks to corgis? I'm mad that we didn't get to play through that because they keep referencing it, but we never got to see it. So it's like, dang it, that would have been cool, you know? <laughs> Tuxedo clad talking corgis, yeah. Wow, awesome! Wait, you're not shitting me, right? I wish I was shitting you. Trust me. You deserve to be dunked into the toilet. <laughs> what else? What else? Uh, let's see. Donovan D. Dawson from the Augmented Eye was here for three nights in a row. That perfume chauvinistic bastard? Huh, there's that word again. Just the other day, someone from the Augmented Eye interviewed me, actually. What did they ask? Oh, the usual bullshit. Who I was, what I did, future plans, inspirations. The one that interviewed me was this small, meek girl with glasses. Oh, that's... that's uh, the other girl who... Uh... I think tried to commit suicide. I think that was Kim. She seemed a bit bitter, though. I wonder why. But enough about that. Wait. Can I see that glass over there? Hmm? Sure. The signature? Is this Kira Mickey's autograph? Yeah, she came here before her last concert. Get out! Really? Is this some kind of secret hidden bar of the stars or something? Not really. We're just in the right place at the right time. What kind of person is she when she's not on stage? I've tried to get a meeting with her, and she actually seemed willing, but she's always busy. A very nice girl, actually. She seems to be completely invested in her work. She loves what she does, and it shows. You'd think she'd be some sort of diva, but as far as I'm concerned, she's one of the nicest people I've met. I knew it! I knew she was nice! Her passion shows in her concerts, you know? She's so... spontaneous. Her performances are never the same. Every time she sings Shine Spark, I feel like my soul is warming up like a high-performance computer. Shine Spark! I find myself singing it in the shower all the time. And those who pay premium can hear me sing every day at $99.99 a month. Go premium now! She's like, oh shoot, I gotta remember to advertise. <laughs> well, it is what it is. <laughs> that aside, I was about to call bullshit on what you said. But I guess you do have some sort of proof for everything. Can I keep this glass? No. Pretty please? No. Party pooper. You don't deserve it, you witch. It's mine. At least this bar might be more interesting than I initially thought. The one thing that'd make it perfect is if Pretty Boy over there had a past with the KGB. That's oddly specific. Who told... Really, Gil? <laughs> He's such a bad... He cannot keep secrets. Why Why are we all like, oh, he's so mysterious? Mm, I think it's very easy. Just throw out a bunch of random crap and he'll, he'll respond to whatever's true. <laughs> Gil, what the hell, man? Y yeah, that'd be crazy, huh? Gil, please. Are you gonna order anything else? What? Oh, yeah, yeah. The whole getting wasted thing. I heard of a drink called a bad touch. 
Give me a big one of those, please. A big bad touch. <laughs> Coming right up. Let's <laughs> give her a, <clears throat> a big bad touch. Oh, Jill, please. Grow up, honey. Although, <laughs> I don't blame you. Uh, okay. Oh yeah, she's gonna get wasted with all this karma train. Something dirtier? You have olive brine. I can pour in a bit if that's what you want. No, not that. With such a dirty name, it feels like the drink ought to come in a phallic glass or be this thick white liquid. Ooh, she has a point there, but ew. <laughs> that would have skyrocketed the watchers at least threefold. Don't you have anything like that? Nope. Ah, I'll have to make do with the condensed milk when I get home. You? Friendly reminder that today's escapade is brought to you by ShiningFinger.moe. Leaders of VR adult entertainment since 2069. Buy a year of premium membership for a neat code. Said code will net you a free trial of a VR experience with a model based on moi. What's the deal with that VR experience? Well, a fan made an NND model of me. When Shining Fingered asked me about a model for our partnership, I just contacted him. He got money for polishing the model a lot more. I got my partnership. We all won. I even got him a year of free premium membership and a VR set. That's nice. Wait, what's NND? Don't tell me you haven't heard of Niku Niku Dance. I asked for a reason. It's, well, it's music videos with 3D models. Yeah, that sounds like a good enough explanation. I see. To be honest, though, the model is a bit meatier than me. Not that I mind it, though, considering the use it gets. <laughs> Ahem. You know, I was expecting you to be more... scared when I said that you're being watched by a lot of people. It's hard to be scared when you can't see these people. That's a good way of thinking about it, Jill, but I'm the type I would get really self-conscious and nervous. <laughs> but they're still there, you know? Sure, they're behind screens and sometimes in the opposite corner of the world. But every single one of my viewers is a real person with a real life. Not being here doesn't make them any less real. I understand, but it's just not the same. They're not here, visibly paying attention to me. I don't get paranoid because of my phone contacts. That's true, I guess. So, tell me, what made a lady like you become a bartender? not exactly an exciting story. Does it involve a man? No. What about a crime? Nope. A childhood promise? Nah. A religious vow? A what? You're not gonna tell me that you just decided out of the blue to quit your job and start bartending. That's actually what happened. Sorta. Oh, come on. No epiphany, quarter-life crisis, not even a hot teacher somewhere along the line. <clears throat> Life isn't always a young adult novel where every decision is a road cone. And that's a problem. One third of my audience are teens that shouldn't be allowed to watch my streams. 
throw me a bone here. There must be a nice mystical story you can tell about yourself, Miss Bartender. Well... Yes? Sometime after I started working, I got an interesting client. He was a DRKSOL, a really old Lilla model. Apparently his power supply was running low. His charger was destroyed, and he didn't have the money to buy upgrades or replacements. He also seemed to have neglected his maintenance. It was from the time when the collective source wasn't a cloud storage system. So, he wouldn't be uploaded there once his bat body ran out of energy. Keep going! It was weird, you know. He was the only Lilum I've seen with a clear-cut fear of mortality. It's a little too heavy. It's not exactly what she was looking for. <laughs> no transcendence for him. He would disappear once his batteries ran out. It's like knowing you'll vanish while everyone else passes on to heaven, he said. Oh, man! I guess he felt bad about burdening someone else with his problems. So he went and gave me a fingertip of his that fell while we were talking. Before he left, he said, if you remember me, maybe a part of me will transcend. Um. Bravo! Bravo! I thought she was going to complain that it's too heavy. <laughs> Touching! Full of feeling! Completely awesome! I'd pay to see a movie like that. So, what happened to that finger? I made a pendant out of it and carry it with me at all times. Even while bathing? Almost all times. Now that I think about it, how do you handle the stream if you want to watch a movie or something? I have a plugin that lays mosaic censorship over whatever I watch on TV or in the theater. I see. Okay, this is getting stale. I'm gonna heat this up. This... Wait, I'm gonna heat this up. Oh, even if I have to do it myself. Little typo there. We need to drop a cow in here. Miss Bartender, get me drunk. I don't care how, just do it. Okay. She's asking me to get her drunk no matter what. That's an interesting request. Do I have to actually search for something that has the most alcoholic content then? Uh, let's look for whatever has the most... This says four. Four... This has five. Cobalt Velvet. I'll come back to that then. Ooh, nine! Oh boy, I think we have our winner right here. But I'm gonna check everything else really quick. Okay guys, nothing else had more Karma Train than this Fringe Weaver. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> I think we're gonna do it. It says it here. It's like drinking ethylic alcohol with a spoonful of sugar, so. Like, I wonder... If I give her this as it is, is that enough? Or do I have to, like, increase the size to make her even more drunk? Because that would make sense, right? To give her a big version? I'm going to do that. I'm going to double it. Ooh, that's going to, like, give her alcohol poisoning. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Big fringe weaver. I hope I'm doing the right thing. It makes sense to me, right? To just make a big version of something that's really alcoholic. So, oh, she turned red. Oh boy, there we go. <laughs> you asked for it, girl. I think you're gonna regret it. Lightheadedness, clumsy tongue, palms sweaty, knees weak, arms spaghetti. <laughs> oh my god, really? <laughs> Reference. Can't feel my legs. Can't feel my legs. Hey, hey, hey. all right. Let's get it on with the lewd stuff. First, I'll try to guess your bus size. 
I must warn you, I have a 90% success rate with this. Huh, I'd say... B. Not big enough to fill a hand, but not small enough to make it look like a child. You're a size B, right? I'm not discussing my bust. Don't be like that. I can tell you're a B cup. Your attitude makes me think you're an S. And your behavior makes me think your blood is a B. So, how many did I get right? Who knows? Ah! Please, let me get on with this. I need you to cooperate if this is going to be a success. She's using too many big words still. If she's really drunk, she's supposed to talk like this. <laughs> Can I ask something? Finally! What's the point of getting drunk if you're going to behave the same way? Exactly. <laughs> I guess it is kind of redundant. Hey, you're still using big words. See? She's right. Because, you see... Oh, I'm sorry. Because, you see, I'm drunk 24-7. Uh? Knowing people want to watch me do anything and everything? Seeing the viewer count steadily raise as I take more risks and become more adventurous? It's a feeling that neither alcohol nor sex can compare to. Speaking of sex, if I get lucky tonight, you only need to pay $99.99 to see what happens afterwards. Ew, who would want that, right? <laughs> that's, that's so like, they'll be watching and judging their performance the whole time. Go premium and go home. Um, do you really get lucky if the other person knows they're being streamed? You'd be surprised by how many are actually turned on by that. How do you deal with people who don't want their identities revealed? Everything's written here. By being captured by this camera, you hereby provide consent to the use of your face. Wow, that's bullcrap. On all material produced by Streaming Chan LLC. I'm not sure how legal that is. People believe it is, and I've yet to be troubled by a lawyer. It's funny, though. When you're on the street, you, unless it's somebody really hot, you can't recall their faces. But learn their name, and suddenly they're a fucking snowflake that's better than all the rest. Huh, this is weird. I'm feeling sleepy. You did ask me to get you drunk. Why is it weird? Because I haven't felt sleepy in quite some time. In fact, I've been sleep deprived for a while now. How long? A week. A week? Weeks are the ones with 30 days, right? Um... Yep, totally sleepy. I can feel my eyes getting heavier. And there's this weird lag when I try to move. What's up with that? Anyways, I think I'll take a little nap here before storming off and continuing the night. If you'll excuse me. Okay. <sighs> yep, <laughs> she's out. Should I call a cab? And risk waking her up? Leave her be. I'd rather break the rules and let her sleep than deal with her again. I'm gonna take my break now. It's been a while since I've needed a cigarette this badly. All right. Hey, break time! Just in time. Alrighty, guys. I'm gonna leave this episode right here. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you're enjoying this. And until next time, have a nice day. Bye-bye! Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. And also make sure to ring the bell for notifications for new episodes. You can follow me on Twitch where I stream every week and also follow me on Twitter for updates. Until next time, have a nice day. Adios!